Hello everyone, welcome to day 21st of my lead code challenge and today's question is find and replace pattern. So without much ado, let's look at the question and the solution via the presentation that I have created for this. And let me just start the slideshow. Let me just take a pen. I hope all of you are enjoying these everyday DS algo questions and let's focus on the question. Find and replace pattern lead code 890. Let's get started. The question says we are given a pattern and we need to find out words that match that particular pattern. The pattern and the words are both given in the form of strings of English lowercase characters and we need to identify those words which abides to these this pattern. So let's walk through the solution by an example. I have taken a slightly simpler example here so that you get a better understanding of the logic. Uh, here the pattern is A, B, B, C, D and we need to find out words which are similar to this pattern. The first one is F uh, foodie, F double O D Y. The second word is India. The third one is beefy. Oh, so this is nothing. This is beefy. The first thing that I'm going to do, I will be extracting the pattern in the normalized format from this input string. What we'll do, we will start from the zeroth integer value and start assigning values to uh, this pattern so a gets the zero value so this gets zero b gets one value again we get encountered b so b gets one c gets two value and d gets three value so the pattern here that we generated from the input string is of a kind integer and it is something like zero one one two three and let's try to do a similar kind of a thing for the words as well. Also, we created a map here which says that A maps to 0, B maps to 1, C maps to 2 and D maps to 3. Although the, the map is only used for generating this pattern, it has nothing to do with the rest of the elements. So let's try to generate similar kind of a pattern for the words as well. F maps to 0. O maps to 1 and again we got an O so we get another one then we have D it's a new character so it maps to 2 Y maps to 3 so what is the pattern that is generated out of foodie it's 0 1 1 2 3 which again is a matching case so since both these patterns match with each other this would be part of the answer set Let's walk through the another case. So I maps to 0, N maps to 1, D maps to 2. Again, we encountered an I, which will make it 1 here instead of a new character, new integer value, higher integer value. Then we got A and A maps to 3. So what kind of pattern is generated here? 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, which is not matching with our input pattern so it's a mismatching case we'll ignore this value let's try another example we have beefy here so b maps to 0 e maps to 1 again we got an e which maps to 1 a new character so we'll assign a higher value to it 2 y again a new character we'll assign a higher value to it so the pattern that is generated out of beefy is 0 1 1 2 3 which again is a matching case with our input pattern therefore b would be part of the answer i hope this approach is clear to you what will be the time complexity of this approach the time complexity for generating the pattern is order of length of the input word and you'll be doing it across all the words that are there in your data set so the total time complexity would be order of n into length of each word so let's try and understand it by the code the first thing that i'm gonna do is to identify a normalized pattern that is in the form of integers instead of string so i've created a normalized method here that will return me the normalized pattern for any string and next i created a variable that will store my answer set i iterated over the words array and for each word I calculated a normalized integer string and in case it matches with the uh, input pattern uh, normalized string then I'll add it into my result set otherwise I'll reject it in the end I simply return the answer now the question reduces to 
writing the normalized function efficiently so it has the return type as string and the uh, accepting parameter is the input string what we are going to do we'll create a hash map that will store character comma integer mapping and i have created few variables here the first one is length and for the length of the input string the second one is the answer set the normalized string and let's start the iteration starting from the zeroth index up till the length of the input string we'll add the new character in the input string only if it is not already present so here it should be str dot char at i if that character is missing from the map then only we'll add it into our uh, hash map and the value here would be map dot size initially the map size would be zero and it will be auto incremented whenever there is a new entry in the map apart from this we'll append to the answer whatever value is there at that particular character in the map so answer equals to answer plus map dot get str dot char at i pretty straightforward and in the end we simply return the normalized string so let's just try this up looks good and let me submit this accepted i hope you liked today's session thanks for watching it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel have a great day ahead right?